cat dog. Hello in the world with a little cat dog. Cat dog. Did you ever see that? Yeah, of course. Where Animal. did a cat dog poop? There was no. <laughs> These are the questions that matter. I am. Um, to be perfectly honest, but you have to ask on a first date. Have to. <laughs> okay, so where are we going? <laughs> okay, le coup. Oh. There's a P, but it's silent because I think it's French. So I've been saying um, Le Coupe. But it might be Le Coupe. I, someone's post of eating here came up on my feed and holy moly, did it look like the best fried chicken sandwich ever. And we're obsessed with fried chicken sandwich sandwiches. So I instantly was like, what the fuck is this? Should we make an entire episode around it? To which she replied, Yes. Because it is a chicken shop, we should do our own chicken shop date. Chicken date shop? Chicken, chicken shop date. Chicken shop date. Chicken shop date. Like the Shout British, out to that. Yeah. What's her name? I don't know, but she's a British queen. We love her. So we're going to be going on a date today mm -hmm. with each other and Maybe. eating chicken, which is kind of bad. Yes. Thank you for inviting me on this day because I'm not going to lie to the people and say, yeah. oh, I kind of invited you. You, you made it a place, date. And I made it a date. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is fucking Oh, good. hell yeah. That is fucking good. I'm really happy. Oh right my now. god. Holy shit. That fire. Okay, I have an oh, icebreaker for you. Yeah, what do you got? If you could meet and talk with any whale, Mm. A, what kind of whale, and B, what would be your first question? Our fave is the sperm whale, but no. the truth is, I want to know about the blue whales, why they're going for the yachts, mm. if it's on purpose or not. Mm. Are you guys aware of the rich assholes, so you're taking them out? And if so, right. I salute you. Yeah. What whale are you talking to? I think I would have to talk to our sperm whale friend. Yeah, totally. And talk to them a little bit about the stigma that their name brings. What is your biggest ick when you're eating with somebody? Oh my god, chewing with your mouth open. <laughs> it drives you nuts? Yeah, it like depends what it is. Or if they're just chewing with their mouth If it's like the whole time. If they don't, if I've noticed that, because some food, I don't know, you just, or you're so hungry you just forget you're eating with your mouth open, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to be like kind to people. <laughs> What's your biggest food ick? when you're sharing food with somebody and they oh. and lick their fingers and then <laughs> eat the food. <laughs> like if you're, if you're sharing popcorn with somebody at the movies and then they... Oh, yeah. <laughs> On the discussion of eggs, do yeah. you have a, like a stupid egg that you know shouldn't be an egg but it's an egg for you? Okay, yeah, like me thinking that vegans are just mm. untouchable. This week on Hinge, somebody messaged me because one of my prompts says... I don't do vegan. Sorry to talk about other dates while I'm on this date. Yeah, that's so very rude. <laughs> he messaged me in response to that and was like, what's wrong with a plant-based king? And I was like, what's wrong with that is I want to vomit. I don't I don't know how to describe it, but it's so fucking unattractive to me. I don't give a shit if you're vegan. It's the wrapping of veganism. What about you? You know this. I can't stand 99% of sandals on men. Disgusting. <laughs> and I realized, like, Seth, what the fuck are we supposed to wear to the beach? Sneakers. Slides. Or oh, sneakers. Okay, slides. Yeah, yeah. Slides have opened the door for men. Yes, they have. It's important for me to tell you you have lipstick here. Oh, thank you <laughs> so much. That's See, that's takes. a good date. I know. I know. It's I want to get done. into this what corn do we got? on the, the ribs, the corn ribs. Look at that. Well, it's not on the cup. Wait, this is an incredible invention. This is unreal. This is fucking we also genius. Need what is the best day of the year? I, my instinct said October 31st, Halloween. A day of freedom to be as whorish or as funny as you want to be. Horish or funny. funny. There's two types of people. Yeah, yeah, and they're always best friends. Yes. There are never best friends that both want to be Both want to be horrid. <laughs> or both want to be funny. It's so true. Uh -huh. But something in my mind is saying August 15th. Out of the blue? Out of the blue. Personality-wise, what's your animal? Immediately, 
when you asked me that, I thought about like what animals annoy people. <laughs> so not, but like, what's something that like pesters, pesters? Um, and I think it's a honey badger. Honey, honey badger, badger don't, don't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. Yeah, but also like it just keeps going. Like you can't stop a honey badger. Oh my gosh. And I think that I'm That's perfect. a wee bit of a honey badger. Oh, someone's smoking weed around us. The devil's living? My weed senses are tingling. Oh, wait, what voice do you hear in your head? Is it your own? Yeah, I think so. Sounds like stuff. Yes. Me too. What about you? Me okay. too, but I have two. Like, I can have two thoughts at once. Can you think two things at one time? Like, give me an example, because I think so. Like, I could think in my head about, like, what I'm doing today while also be thinking, like, I like her shirt. And the what I'm doing today voice will be mine, and the other one's silent, but I can think them both at the same time. Because I'm a genius. You're right, right. That sounds pretty fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a pickled vegetable gal? I'm a pickles girl and not a pickled vegetable girl. Mm. I don't dislike pickled things, but I like pickled pickles so much more than pickled things. Mm. How about you? I like pickles the most of all pickled things. But I like pickled things. Okay, should we try the cornbread? Yeah, now that we're... Uh, up and little. what is this? I think butter for it. You can only use one piece of cutlery for the rest of your life. What is it? A spoon. Unfortunately, I think I have to go knife because there are certain things that I think I cannot eat without a knife. Like steak? Yes. And then I would just... You could use a spoon. For knife things? How are you going to spoon a steak or chicken? Well, then you just bite those. Look, I'm using a spoon. Okay, I'm going to use a knife because okay. that's my utensil. In hindsight, we should have respected this and ate it while it was warm. 100%. But it's fucking bomb. 100% not too. This butter is amazing. Amazing. What's the meanest thing that you did in elementary school? <laughs> when I was in second grade, I was still like hardcore in my tomboy phase. I had no interest in like a crush or anything like that. And there was this guy named Clayton. Clayton, I'm so sorry. That's actually his name. <laughs> Like in case you guys were wondering nice. yeah and like that's not their real name that was his name and i guess he had formed a crush on me and i had heard rumors roaming around before february 14th valentine's day that he was gonna try to ask me to be his valentine okay and the whole day i was on edge and recess came and i saw that he had like made eye contact from me from across the yard like the play yard and i Oh. And do you know what Clayton did? No. He sprinted he after me. He ran after you. I, I didn't guess it because I thought that's what it was, but I was hoping it wasn't because... I know. No, Clayton. I know. I know. What happened? The rest of the memory is pretty loose, but I think he went home with the valentine and didn't give it to me because I denied him so hard. That's really sad. It's fucked up. That's it's really fucked up. Sad. Clayton's probably a cheater. Now, you know, the cycle of life. <laughs> like, he's probably an asshole to women. That's like the meanest thing you could say about Clayton. Okay, the meanest thing I did in elementary school was to a girl, though. This is bad. What? No, I'm gonna first name, last name her. Okay. Because I feel bad. It's 100% Okay, so on this me. is to, like, apologize. Yeah. Okay. Dear Lydia Dwyer. <laughs> For some reason, I wrote a note to my friend that said, the whole note said, I hate Lydia Dwyer. She had done nothing. And the note got taken by the teacher. And the teacher asked to talk to me after class. Oh my God. And the teacher said, you wrote a note. And I said, yeah. And she said, it says, I hate Lydia Dwyer. And I said, no, that says love. <laughs> and she so was not like- not only were you a cunt, yes, you were a liar. Gaslighting liar. And she was like, Roxy, that says hate. And I was like, no, no, that's how my L's look. And then like, that's just how love looks in my handwriting. And my parents were like, and it said hate. And I was like, yeah, it definitely said hate. I just didn't want my teacher to know that. And they're like, she knows. <laughs> she saw it. <laughs> like, uh, thanks for coming on the date with us. Thanks for watching our date. It went, I think wheel. it went really well. I don't want to say anything because she's still here. Yeah, I don't know if she's going to text me or she's going to wait three days. But if she waits longer than that, I don't think I'm going to say yes. But if it's in the three-day range, then I think I would say yes to a second date. Exactly. Because if a woman wants to, she would. Yeah. If a person wants to, they would. Let's just be honest. Yeah. And what we wanted to do is do a chicken shop date at Leku, and we did it. Goodbye. It fucking rocked. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's 
so good. Oh, okay. It's so good, Steph. You have to. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's like cracked. Yeah, it's really That's good. the best juice ever. Yes. They can see how long we've been here because the passing of oh, yeah. time. time. What a construct. Time. 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 Time.